Hello guys, this is Linus Lee Mayanki to Hotel. Today I'm going to activate this nice park around here running FX for CR radio. This radio could be my best choice in the future for park activation, especially while hiking, uh, being very light on. And um, today I'm going to find out if this tiny radio is really suitable for park activations and if this radio really provides the best or actually the best compromise between the output power, which is 20 watts of power. It's not a QRP radio, it's 20 watts of power. It might be it provides the best compromise between the output power, efficiency and simplicity of setup. Let's see what happens. All right, so that's my whole setup. Probably the smallest setup in my car I ever had. FX4 Sierra, tiny, tiny key pedal, fixed to the magnet mag mount, to the car's front seat foldable table. Very convenient. It's enough to accommodate my paper lock here or my mobile phone or tiny tablet if I need one, you know, to run to run FT8, for instance, because it's very convenient. FX4CR provides a wireless connection to your mobile phone, the Bluetooth connection, and you can run, you know, wirelessly the FT8. This tiny space accommodates all I need during my operation so here is the radio fixed to the headrest of my car by a special phone holder actually it's metal very sturdy and and you know i'm very glad i, I have it so it fixes to the this bar here here's the tp3 key pedal and this stock microphone the quality of audio is 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 okay cw works nice you can change the power very easily by just you know pushing one the power button and you can regulate it with the volumes knob so up to 20 watts the radio runs 20 watts no problems on ssb if you run at the power at some 20 watts on cw after some time the power simply just drops down and radio stops transmitting any power it, it 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 functions it transmits but no power is output i've just switched it off switched it on and reduced the power to the level of 15 watts and then it was okay here i need to think a little bit only two reasons could explain the phenomena First, the power amplifier of the radio shuts down due to overload or overheat, even if the case was barely warm on touch. Second, radio sensitivity to a common mode current, despite ferrets on the power cables and a good RF choke on the antenna cable. To eliminate the first reason, I quickly jump now back to my shack and run heavy duty CW at 20 watts of power output into a dummy load for the full five minutes. The result? No problems, no overheating on touch and no power drop at all. Warning, the manual recommends 10 watts on CW, so if you run 20 watts in your radio, you do it on your own responsibility. So the most probable reason left is the RF in the shack and it needs more investigation and field study. If you got some ideas on this, please drop a comment in the comment section. Italy Kilo 2 Sierra Alpha Vector. Good morning, 59. Seventy-four, uh, forty-four. Merry Christmas, LY2 Hotel Stroke Portable. Calling Flora Fauna. Uh, Charlie Zulu Station again, please. 
Bravo Charlie Zulu, Delta Lima 6, Bravo Charlie Zulu. Für der Pfad der Roger, Roger. Delta Lima 6, Bravo Charlie Zulu. This is LY2 Hotel Stroke Portable. You are a 5x9, 5x9. I'm not in the contest. I'm in the Flora Fauna. You are a 5x9, 59, 73, 44. Thank you very much. Delta Fox 2, Quebec Zulu. Delta Fox 2, Quebec Zulu. Good morning. 59, QSL. Yeah, QSL 5 and 7, 57 from Delta Fox 2, Quebec Zulu, 44. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. 44. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Stroke Portable. Oscar Hotel 2, Mike Foxtrot Sierra. Oscar Hotel 2, Foxtrot Mike Sierra. Good morning, 59. Thank you. You also 5 and 9. My call is Oscar Hotel 2, Mike Foxtrot Sierra. QSL. Roger, Roger. Mike Foxtrot Sierra. Sorry for that. Audio quality by this tiny speaker here is quite satisfactory for me. I like it. It's a plenty of uh, plenty of sound in the car, in the closed car. So no 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 problems with that. All right, guys. So activation is done. I've during one hour and a bit, I've made some 86 or 85 contacts in the log. The the score in my log is actually the same with this radio FX4CR with 20 watts, 15 to 20 watts of outward power as i've been operating with 100 watts with the same antenna vert vertical whip antenna on, on the on the roof of the car this radio fx4cr at the power level of 15 to 20 watts uh, it's absolutely okay for park activation i felt no difference actually maybe slight difference in the in the size of the pile up when you are active and and people want to when I make a contact with you, the pace of making contacts with these uh, 15 to 20 watts with F FX4CR is actually the same as if I were making contacts with my FT891 uh, transceiver at 100 watts or 70 to 100 watts of power. People have been giving me 5.5 on SSB and 5.9 you know, uh, and uh, I believe uh, these were uh, honest reports because in flora fauna activation we give the authentic reports. My, so to say, final uh, final verdict uh, is, is yet to be made after activating maybe five to ten parks, uh, but basically, uh, basically it behaves very nice. I was not using uh, was not running fta digital modes here in the park today but my uh, home experience uh, shows that uh, running uh, the same like 15 10, 10, 10 to 15 watts uh, on digital modes it behaves the same as i said on cw it runs okay no problems 10 watts is fine absolutely hours and hours of fta operation 15 watts, uh, well, maybe shorter time. So, but overall, overall speaking, FX4CR radio is just fantastic. It's just fantastic. Maybe some AGC settings uh, remain to be experimented more. And my impression was on CW, uh, when I go from transmit to receive, uh, some, you know, delay, delay could be less. I was not mingling and playing with the, with all these settings yet. That's the first, so to say, first activation, first testing. Now, what else? Uh, this is not QSK radio. I mean, uh, switching from receive to transmit is based on the relay. You know, there is clicking. The rock, you know, you can hear a relay clicking. So. Uh, this is not uh, not the best uh, for the real CW, so to say, operation, but I mean, it's, it's just fine. Very many radios, big ex extensive radios, uh, you know, most of them still have relay transmit um, to receive switching, except of Elecraft radios, which, which, which are, you know, fantastic CW machines still. But this tiny radio is also fantastic CW and SSB machine and fantastic FT8 uh, digital mode machine.
I was not using uh, today my my phone, my Android phone, together with this radio, you know, on, on FT8, on digital modes, but it's very easy to run because there is a, a Bluetooth link between the radio and your phone. No wires are needed. So uh, F digital modes are just, you know, easy peasy job to set up and run and, and, and it runs very well. The size is, is QRP radio, but the power output is 20 watts. 20 watts is not QRP. It's a very good, uh, good, uh, so to say, compromise between the power and efficiency. After running for two hours continuously, actually, I only used 0 0.8 amp hours, not even one amp hour. That's very good compromise between power consumption, be between the power draw and efficiency. With this battery, which is uh, maybe, maybe 12 amp hours lithium iron phosphate battery, I could run maybe the whole day at the level of 20 watts, uh, at the level of 20 watts of power in SSB. 20 watts is already a good punch power, you know, to, to get, to get, to be heard and to get even DX stations. And still, you know, uh, it doesn't demand a very big battery to carry on with you. So, especially for my hiking activations, uh, so uh, I think this is an, an ideal radio to go, but that's my opinion. That's my first impression. So what is your impression? Please leave your comments in the comment section. As it is now, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. 73, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Cheerio!